Hey guys, welcome to Nikki's Plates. I have another mukbang for you guys today. I have today for you Captain D's. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. Let's see. I'm a cancer, so you know I gotta hold up the crabs. I know you got no crabs. Yeah, I got some stuffed crabs. Oh, you tricked me. No. You got more stuff in that. Oh, yeah, that's why I said, yeah, it's going to be enough. Because I got shrimp. Because <laughs> I got shrimp. Oh, you tricked me. Crab. And. I'm like, what is that? You want to try something? It's stuffed crab, though. What's in it? I probably. You, it's you kind of like a dressing, like. kind of. I don't think you're going to like it. I don't okay. know. No, man. But at least you offered it to your husband. Yeah. I did. I <laughs> you guys, I'm going to start offering him some first because he does support me a whole lot. And it's been eye-opening this past weekend because I thought that my brother and sister would be on my side, but they're actually on his side. So, like, you know how I'm stealing all his um, family and friends? He's starting to steal my family from me because they took his side. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should. I'm like, oh, dang. That's right. So they agree that he should get the what he wants, the Bartesian. Yes. So he's going to eventually get it. We're going to get it for him. Wouldn't for Father's Day. Maybe by his birthday we can get it for him. Oh, yes. It's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. Leo season. No, it's cancer. I'll take baby. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. I got to get my prayer. Lord, thank you so much for uh, providing this meal, Lord. I ask that you please bless it. Let it be a nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get a, our daily bread. And Jenny gave this to me, but. Wow. Jenny gave this to me. Yep. Okay, let me get a daily bread. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strengths. Isaiah 40 and 31. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. 2 Peter 2, 2 and 9. Let that be a blessing in the reading to the reading of his word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If y'all don't like me reading this, just skip through it, okay? Because I'm not taking this away. And that's not me. That's just like, if you don't like it, if it doesn't conform to your beliefs, you know, just skip through that part. Okay? All right, but I got some tartar sauce. Um, I just had this bag here. Just, it got some sauce and stuff in it. I'm going to put it back here. <clears throat> okay, so I have one chicken tender. I was going to get two, but it didn't fit on my plate. And I'm probably not going to eat all this. This is just for the video. But I got one chicken tender. I don't know how many shrimps that I have. I got um, a couple of um, hush puppies. And I took a bite out of that one already when I was fixing it. And I got some crab. I'm a cancer too, so I'm a living that. All right. Um, and I got some steamed broccoli instead of getting French fries. Brian got French fries. I got steamed broccoli. And I got some Osaka water. Okay. And so, yeah. Let's get into the video. And then I'm going to talk to y'all about something else that you can't see in the video but I can see it mm. let's get a shrimp y'all want some shrimp let me 
dip y'all some turkey sauce. Mm. I ain't fed y'all in a bit. Y'all probably starving. If y'all notice I haven't done something in a while, just let me know. Because I probably don't notice it. You know? Check me. Let me get y'all. Hey, y'all take whatever y'all want. Mm hmm. Take it. That's why I want to put the food back up so they can see it real good. Shrimp. Crab, y'all want some crab? Look at that crab. Mmm, mmm. And some steamed broccoli. Get into it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <coughs> yes, a tea chow. I really, really, really wanted this broccoli. Brian said, dang, you already know what size you want? Because <laughs> normally I'm like, oh, let me get a, oh. He said, what you want? I said, steamed broccoli. And I already know he wanted french fries. Y'all, I didn't go get my nails done. These was press stones that I had put on for the funeral that I went to. That one I almost broke. That's why I got a line in it. And these ones, I had hit it, and so it was popping. So I just took it off on both ends. I'm going to put it back on. I'm going to find my glue. But they just press stones. Brian said he liked them. And so I'm going to start doing my nails. Like, even if they press on, they, you know, they mine. I bought them. Um, uh -huh. Even if they are press on, I'm going to start doing them. You know, keeping them done. You know, I got to stop looking crazy all the time. You know, right, Bob? I got to turn it up. Now, one thing I gotta do is go buy me some more makeup because I couldn't find none of my makeup. The only, um, uh, yeah, it's probably in my car. It has to be in my car somewhere. I didn't clean my car out. <clears throat> but I have no more. The only thing that I have that I can find is. my Jackie Hill palette. This was a gift from my sister, Jacqueline Hill, not Jackie. This was a gift from my sister-in-law for my birthday like a couple years ago. Oh. Candice? Oh. Yeah, this is a birthday gift from her. Because I, I think I had told her when I was braiding her hair before they went to... Um, Where'd they go? New Orleans? 
No, they went out of out of the country or to a resort. I was braiding her hair and I was telling her about that palette. Oh wait. Mm-hmm. She, she ended up buying it. Mm-hmm. She ended up buying it for me. I guess she said I don't never say what I want. <laughs> Well, when I go over there, I'm going to talk about the Bartesian. <laughs> they ain't going to give you no Bartesian. <laughs> they got one. Tell me the trip, man. Mm -mm. I need to get this Bartesian. This is almost like a... It's, it's like a, a crab dressing. It's stuffed with. You want to try it? It might be good for you. You might be like, yo, give me some cranberry sauce. Yeah, okay. Is it like you? No. Oh, I mean. Here, but let me give y'all some. I offered him some again, and he don't want it. <coughs> let me give y'all some. Kids that offer her some. want a piece of shrimp. That's probably what she wants. She likes shrimp. The kids. No? She don't want that. Next time I go buy me some nails and stuff, I'm going to get a bunch of them and do like a bow press on nail haul video. Let me know if y'all would like to see that. Because then you can get a feel for like my taste and what I like and you know what I'm saying? That is pretty good. Being a carnivore right now. Yeah, I said what? <clears throat> I'm a cancer, and the sign is a crab, and I'm eating a crab. <laughs> so, just turn. What? What? That put me on the skin. Oh, no, you still? You gonna make your own? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She ain't even eat. <clears throat> My man, I don't got enough for me to do. Mm-hmm. You didn't call anything you was returning, did you? Mm. Mm. Okay, let's talk about something that I want to ask you guys. If you have ever had or know about, because I asked Brian this. Let me. Well, first of all, let me tell y'all the story. Yeah, tell me the story. I did. When? I should Where get frozen water? I put some. It's frozen. It could solid. be a brown. It's solid. I put some more in the freezer. Oh, okay. Just know I'm thirsty. How you gonna drink a frozen water? 
salad. You put ice in it. Okay. I'll do that for you next time, okay? I didn't think about that. But I'm sorry. No, you gotta say it right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy <laughs> tell. I'm sorry. Okay, let me tell y'all the story first. So, okay. check it. We on our way uh, to Michigan, right? You still about this trip? Yes, I, I gotta trip. talk about. That was I a gotta, good trip, though. Yeah, it was a really good trip. It. Yeah, it was a good trip. I know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. we on our way to Michigan, right? And we stopped for gas in Arkansas. First of all, side note, Arkansas drivers, I'm sorry to my best friend, but Arkansas drivers, y'all, y'all know how to drive. Y'all crazy. They drive like, like. This it, thing, it was like, it was like the middle of the night, like one or two in the morning. Might've been three. I don't know. No, we got home with three. No, this was on the way. Oh, 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 I'm working with 18 wheeler. <laughs> yeah. So it was an 18 wheeler, and uh, they doing construction. So there is two lanes, but they very narrow. And so the semi truck, I don't know why my hand is shaking like that. Y'all see my hand? Why your hand shaking like that? I don't know. My nerves is bad. I'm worried about my boss, maybe, I guess. Well, you didn't feel bad. That's weird. You all right? Mm-hmm. You feel all right? Yeah. I'm just worried about her. That's all. Okay. Well, so, you have told him about that. So. I know. I, I'm not, I can't tell y'all that because that's... It's too personal of a business. Um, it's a small company. It's a very small company. And I don't want to put nobody's business out there like that, but... Just pray for my boss because she's going through it. That's all I can say. I'm not going to say anything else. Just pray for her because she can use all the prayers that she can get right now. Yeah. I'm going to have to reach out to her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just pray for her. Because they always call chicken in. Yeah. Yeah. When they can't get in touch with me. They call me. They call Brian. Where's your wife at? Where's Nikki? <laughs> and then I call like two minutes later. They know exactly who to call. <laughs> you can't get in the country for me to call Brian. I'm gonna find. Yeah. She better have some money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So wait, I'm telling the story. Oh. So. Well, I have to get my own water. I'm sorry. Can you bring me another bottle of water? Oh no, no. Please. Cause I'm almost out and I got a whole uh, story to tell. Sure. Okay, so. So, the lane, can I tell the story? No. The lanes were very narrow. And this um, semi-truck was, the back of his truck was kind of riding both lanes. So, we couldn't pass because he was riding in both lanes. And so, Brian is like, at the, like he's right here in the back of the truck. And Brian has a Silverado. So, <clears throat> ain't no squeezing by with a big old truck. And so he's like right there at the end, right? And he can't pass until the semi truck straighten up. So he waiting on him to straighten up, but he ain't never straightening it up. And so I hear um, um, an SUV rev, you know how you can hear the uh, engine revving. And so they was like driving behind the semi truck. And I'm like, oh, they trying to pass, babe. Let them go ahead and pass because they just, you know, gonna try to make their way over. And it's the middle of the night. I ain't trying to get in no accident. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, babe. I thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so, oh, where was that one? That water. At the bottom? The one you said that was frozen inside. No, the ones that I said that was frozen on solid, I left them in the freezer. Well, this was at the bottom. At the bottom of the freezer? Yeah, up under the... I thought that was frozen river solid. 
I thought that was solid solid. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. You um, want to get your hood in the wall. But I'm sorry. Okay. Um. So, you know, I didn't want to get in no accident or whatever. So I said, let him pass. So he gave him just a little bit of room. And he went through. And the, the, the semi truck was still in the way. And they, it was two cars. Because it was a car behind that SUV. Actually, it was a pickup truck. And they made that semi truck get over <laughs> in his lane. I'm like, I am so sorry. I am not going to fight with no semi truck drive. Mm -mm. Not in the middle of the night. With brick walls on both sides. With, with, yeah, with brick walls on both sides. No, absolutely not. Just fall back. Let them handle it. Like, they really? Okay. All right. And so, okay, so uh, that was going on our way to uh, Michigan. And we stopped in Arkansas. Like a little bit after that, we went to a Shell gas station. I don't know where it is. Don't ask me where it is because I don't know where it is. Oh, but, <coughs> yeah. And so we was at the Shell gas station. And crazy, um, people just crazy people do follow me, y'all. I'm telling you. And so um, this guy was in a black uh, convertible Camaro and he was uh, had the top dropped down and he was hanging out the window and he came Three apart. Three o'clock in the morning, came to the park, and I guess, um, I don't know where that guy came from, but the guy came from out of nowhere. They were waiting on that work truck in the back. Oh, they were waiting on the work truck? Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. Brian know everything. I, I see my surroundings. Yeah, because uh, I sure didn't know where he came from, but because he just popped up. And there was he, like three of them. Yeah, right we there. was out the, when I seen that guy pull around, I'm like, oh, look, he's just hanging out the window. So I went over there by Brian. <laughs> Cause I was about to go into the into the um, gas, station. gas station, use the restroom, and um, I seen that I went over there by Brian. We just out there probably looking at each other like, what in the world? And so a guy came out of nowhere, offering us some adult activity uh, pills, roots on them lines, uh, and. Uh, we're like, no, nah, we good, no, nah, we good, we good, or whatever, right? And so we go, both of us, when we finish pumping gas, we go into the um, gas station to use the restroom. We come up the restroom, we figuring out if we want anything. <clears throat> Number one, we didn't need nothing because uh, I had already bought a whole convenience store from Target. Um, but I got me a five-hour energy drink, and I wanted some lottery tickets and some scratch-offs. And so I asked her, I said, where's your scratch-offs? Uh, we don't have scratch-offs. I said, oh, man. I said, you have lottery? No, we don't have lottery. I'm like, what? This is crazy. And so um, at the register, I'm paying for my five-hour energy. Brian, get a donut stick. I'm like, you don't need this donut stick because you got so much stuff in the car, but you can't get it. So he got the donut stick, I got a five hour energy drink. And then like, I look around and I look, and I wasn't looking around, I was just like scanning the place or whatever. And I look back at the register and I just so happened to see something like this, but it was a smaller bag than this. Something like this. <clears throat> so I said, I got excited cause I ain't seen these in a long time. I live in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, and I haven't seen these in a long, 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 long time. I said, oh, y'all got penny candy. I swear it's like four or five people in the store. And they all was looking at me like I was crazy. Brian looking at me like I'm crazy. This is it. This is those out of the bag right here. And so Brian looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, what are you talking about? And so we, we, we paid and we walking outside. And I said, I, I say, have you ever had fruities? Cause they made from Tootsie Roll, but they're called fruities. See, they're called fruities. And so um, they're kind of like um, Tootsie Rolls, but they're fruity. That's why they're called fruities. You know, you know, Tootsie Rolls is like chocolate flavor. These are fruit flavor. 
And so that's why they're called fruities because they're fruity Tootsie Rolls, basically. <clears throat> and so um, I asked Brian, I said, have y'all ever had that? He's like, no. I said, y'all ain't never had a candy store in your uh, growing up or nothing like that? He's like, nope, nothing. I'm like, oh my God, that is so crazy. I cannot believe it. Store, like that. Anyway, we had That's a candy right, store right. growing up. I probably put it in the thumbnail, like right here, um, talking about these fruities. But I was so excited for these fruities. I'm like, oh my god, I ain't gonna, I can't eat it right now because I ain't gonna eat no food. But um, yeah, I was so excited about them fruities. So have y'all ever had fruities? Do you have a candy store in your neighborhood? By candy store, I do not mean like a gas station. I mean like somebody's residence who sells candy in the neighborhood. That's what I mean. Cause we did, we had two of them, <clears throat> and then we we used to go to um, Louisiana every spring break. <clears throat> they had a candy lady in their neighborhood, and we used to go get cold cups. You know what cold cups is, man? Hmm? Cold cups. Cold cups. Cold cup. No. Cold cups is basically frozen Kool Aid, and you eat it like a uh, like a um, a snow cone, basically. That's good. If if I ever buy a house, I'm a, I'm gonna give me a bunch of candy. And 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 uh, give me a little space, make it my little candy store. And then we make cold cups in the cold cups in their neighborhood for the kids. Pickles and everything. Cookies, chips. But what what, what went hard is play my hots or the chips that I was trying to find called Vintner's Crunchy Curls, the spicy ones. Those with nacho cheese poured over them and some uh, ground beef oh, oh my god y'all don't know what y'all missing if you ain't never had any of that you could probably buy them on amazon Bidner's crunchy curls the spicy ones not the not the cheese ones not the orange looking cheese ones i'm talking about like they red My hand's still shaking. If you're the candy lady, drop me your link or something so I can see if you said a candy that I grew up with. I'm 
sort of like a <clears throat> twos is another penny candy fruities I can't pick up an all anymore right now I went, I met one of my aunties that I hadn't met since I was a kid and I didn't remember her. But when my mom was talking about her, I thought she was talking about somebody that was on my dad, not my biological father, but on my dad's side of the family. When she was talking about her, I thought she was talking about somebody on that side of my family. So I, I, I didn't know actually who she was talking about. But I met her. And Brian met her too. And as soon as he met her, he found out something. <laughs> What'd you say, babe? Babe, uh -huh. when you met her, what'd you say? My auntie, what'd you say to me when? Uh -huh. Uh uh, he says um. So I like to rub on Brian. I like to rub on his belly. I like to rub on his um arm. I just like to rub on him because I'm I'm you know I I like to touch you. And uh, my auntie, she was rubbing. She was come on trying to get us to take a picture she was just rubbing like, come on brian was like that's where you get your all that rubbing from <laughs> he don't like to be rubbed that's why he said nothing but we've been together 10 years on the way and you still yet That a $10 picture. <laughs> yeah, you can sell it. Yeah, right. Go sell it back to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I have to go through my pictures and videos because there's one video that I can't play on here. Why? Because of what you say at the beach. Oh. <laughs> so I have to go find that <laughs> and send it to Brian and then delete it out of my phone so that I don't accidentally upload it. But I am going to create a little vlog or oh, not like I said I did not get any photos from inside of the parlor because that's disrespectful but I did get pictures outside and I got you know pictures of like all the bikers and all the bikes and stuff like that and the people who came
and my cousin, I got a picture of him doing like that with his glasses because he got the same Ray-Ban glasses. And we spotted them taking pictures. And I rolled down the window. I said, I see you over here taking pictures. Let me take a picture of, of you too. And he, th he, he, he thought I was 